Hey, Virgo, Summon, Rising, Venus. This is what we got going on for February 19th, 2021. Let's get it. Uh, Nine of Pentacles, Temperance to the Five of Pentacles in Reverse, Virgos. You guys could have been dealing with a Sagittarius, an Aries, a Taurus, a Leo, a Pisces, a Virgo, Gemini Heavy. And then we got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah. All right, Virgo, let's get it. Um, Virgos, you guys are doing the best you guys can to heal yourselves. You guys are healing at the moment. You guys aren't really talking to anybody as well. You guys are kind of staying towards yourself. You guys are taking care of yourself. Maybe some of you guys are even meditating as well to just rejuvenate yourself at the same time. But the healing process is about to be over, Virgos. You guys have done the best you guys can to heal yourselves from whatever this person has caused you and whatever this person has put you through. You guys are standing in your power here, coming with a strength card, Virgos. You guys are going to end up having to make a decision, but you guys are definitely healing your emotions and taking care of yourselves. You guys are absolutely independent. You guys are coming as a pre-empress, Virgo. So you guys are independent, capable, loving, sweet, <clears throat> caring. Uh, you guys have been really, really patient with yourselves at the same time, Virgos. You guys are taking care of yourselves, um, healing yourselves. Doing doing the best you guys can, all right? Soon, you guys are going to be able to come out of this healing process, Virgo. Sometimes the healing is <clears throat> is severe sometimes, Virgo. But you guys have been doing a really good job, I must say. All right, you guys could have been dealing with an Aries, a Taurus, Virgo. This person wants to come back towards you. They want to take control of the situation. They want to protect you. They want to care for you, Virgos. This is somebody who has a very good position at their job here, sweethearts. Somebody is definitely doing a lot of spying here, Virgos, coming in with the Page of Swords here to the uh, High Priestess in reverse. Somebody is not... <laughs> All right. So, Virgos, there's somebody here that's spying on you at the moment, okay? They're thinking about how it is that you do what it is that you do, but this is just a little separate message, okay, cuties? So there's a Pisces, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius who is spying on you right now. They're curious. They're trying to figure out how is it that you do the things that you do? How are you capable of doing what it is that you do? <laughs> they're figuring, they're trying to figure it out, <laughs> but they're never going to be able to, Virgos, because your gifts are your gifts at the end of the day, and their gifts are their gifts. They need to, they just need to recognize what they're capable of and what you guys are capable of. You have your own superpowers. They have their own superpowers, so they need to just learn to embrace what it is that they have and leave you be, so that way you guys can continue on doing what it is that you want to do. Also, Virgos, there's somebody that wants to come towards you. They want to speak to you now. This person is ready to tell you their secrets here. Also, Virgos, there's a Pisces here who has financial issues, okay? this There's a Pisces that has financial issues, all right? But regardless, though, that being said, <laughs> two of pentacles, Virgos, to the ace of cups here. Someone here is realizing, okay, like I love Virgo, Summon, Rising, Venus. I have to come back and talk to Virgo, Summon, Rising, Venus. They're curious. They want to talk to you. They want to communicate. They want to tell you all their secrets here now, Virgos. They do have a lot of love for you as well with the ace of cups energy there. Uh, King of cups here, Virgos. You guys could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person focuses a lot on their money virgos they are incredibly independent they're business orientated as well this person wants to come towards you they're ready to offer you their cup of love virgos but it's going to be completely up to you guys if you guys are wanting to take this person back because of the fact that you guys have been healing yourselves virgos this person is now finally coming back after the fact that you've healed yourself when you guys heal yourself, what are you guys going to do? This person wasn't with you when you were healing you. You know what I mean? They weren't patting you on the back, Virgos. They wasn't wiping up, wiping down your tears or nothing like that. You had to wipe your own tears when you guys were in separation with this person. But regardless of Virgos, this person does want to come back towards you. They want to take the initiative steps to come back. They're coming in as an emperor, the king. So they're coming in as a very high vibrational level. They're coming in as a, at a very high frequency to meet match you. And your frequency here, okay, Virgos, they are going to be very cautious and very observant. And they are going to be taking their time 
slowly to come back towards you. They know that they have a soulmate connection here with you, Virgos. Also, this person has a soul tie towards you as well. You guys have made in your past lives that you guys would always find each other in the physical realm here, coming with the Two of Cups to the Knight of Pentacles. They are coming back towards you, Virgos. They do see you as the as your, their soulmate. They need to come back towards you because they don't aren't feeling well without you being in their life. Coming in with a wheel card, Virgos, this person has received their karma, sweethearts, okay? But regardless, while they have, were receiving their karma, Virgos, they were all, they're also very regretful and remorseful. They're off, they, they were going through severe depression, Virgos. This person did suffer with a lot of depression, but they're finally coming out of that cutie pies. They're starting to realize, like, damn, you know what? Instead of me sitting here in the Five of Cups energy and being regretful and remorseful for what I did, why don't I just get out of this so that way I can come back towards Virgo, Sun, and Rising Venus? And they're and they are regretful for it, Virgos, because they were playing a lot of mind games and manipulation as well. Okay, cuties. But regardless, this person wants to come back towards you and work on the relationship here. They're trying to manifest you back in. Twin flame connection, soulmate tie here, Virgos. You guys have a very deep connection with this person. This person's wanting to come back towards you as well. They miss you very, very much here, sweethearts. Coming at the bottom of the deck, I got the three of swords. The Nine of Cups, the Page of Cups here, Virgos. Oh, sweethearts, this is a lot of pain for me, okay? Coming in with the Three of Swords energy here. You guys could also still be holding on to the pain that this person has caused you, but this person wants to come back towards you. They way that they see you, Virgos, they see you as someone who's very beautiful, handsome. Like, you are just out of this world, just absolutely exotic looking, Virgos. A lot of you guys look very, very exotic. Maybe some of you guys have dark hair, Virgos, with like light light eyes here you guys are really beautiful male or female you guys are really heartbroken virgos because this person ran off on you they left you virgos coming in with the knight of wands energy they they departed they left but now you guys are going to be the ones that have to make the decision the ball is going to be in, absolutely in your court here they come virgos they're coming in with an offer they're coming in with an apology and they're coming in with a message as well but the message that you see virgos you guys are the queen of pentacles or you guys could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, everybody here, okay, Virgos? But you guys are focusing on your money, Virgos. You guys are doing your thing. They they departed, so what what was left for you guys to do except focus on your money to take care of yourselves, become more much more independent? You guys are already independent, Virgos. When this person had, had found you, whenever you guys were dealing with this person, you guys were already in that pre-empress position, okay? And you guys are just growing and growing spiritually on a whole other spiritual level, Virgos. You guys keep ascending and keep ascending. No one will be able to reach you anyway. Even if they want to, they can't reach you, Virgos, because you guys have already too much knowledge. You guys are already taking care of yourself spiritually. You guys, you know what I mean? It, it's, it's more like that, sweethearts, okay? When this person comes back to apologize and offer you a gift, Virgos, and and explain themselves to you on what had happened and why it had happened the way that it did it is going to stress you guys out a little bit all right virgos this person might be at a distance from you but they're still holding on to you very tight so even if you guys are not talking to this person and you guys are still in separation from this person this person hasn't let you go this whole entire time they're still holding on to you virgos coming with the three of wands energy <clears throat> you guys are focusing so much on your money, Virgos. You guys have a lot of success when it comes to your money, especially if you guys are business owners, um, you have a good job here. You guys get paid really, really well, Virgos, and you guys are very much so focusing on that. Also, Virgos, some of you guys might be on your way to become successful, rich, for that matter, okay? But even though you guys might be doing uh, work that's successful and that could potentially bring you into wealth, it brings a lot of burden for you with the Ten of Wands energy because it's the amount of work that it brings to the table. It's a lot of work. It keeps you guys busy all the time, okay, cuties? You guys, this person is still holding on to you, Virgos. They're holding you so close to your to their heart. They they their heart chakra, Virgos. They they it's their heart chakra. They have their heart space here, okay? They have a lot of love for you. They they're still holding you very very tight, okay, cuties. They want to come back towards you, Virgos. They want to heal the situation. They have a lot of emotion here for you, and they can't let you go emotionally or mentally, Virgos. They want a reconciliation. They want to achieve something here with you. They want to. They made the decision, Virgos, that they have to come back towards you. In order for it, for them to be able to heal the situation, they would be the ones to have to come back towards you. Maybe this person even put you in a three-party situation, Virgos, at the same time, and that was the dark secrets that this person had put you in. 
but you guys were always using your intuition, Virgos, but because you guys were using your intuition at the time that you felt like this person was lying or cheating on you, you guys just ignored it, Virgos, because you guys did have a lot of feelings for this person, so you kind of like let it slide. Knight of Cups, Virgos, this person's making the decision. They chose the correct cup. Out of the seven cups, they took the correct cup, Virgos. Let's see what cup they took. Ah, Virgos. They took, they, they didn't take this one. They didn't take this one. <laughs> Cute. They took this one, the luxury cup, Virgos, and they're coming back towards you with it, and they have a lot of love in the, in the cup for you. So the cup is overflowing with a lot of love, so they have a lot of emotion here for you, okay, cuties? This person is at a distance from you here, Virgos. They are going to be shooting you up with a lot of text messages here, a lot of love messages as well, explaining to you how much they love you, how you are their success. Also, Virgos, if you guys are figuring out for your money, like how is your money going and all that stuff, I want you to know that whatever it is that you guys are working on, it's going to bring you an amount of abundance of prosperity towards you, where you guys are going to have a lot of financial uh, stability as well coming into the near future. It's going to be happening very, very fast. <sighs> this person here, Virgos, they miss you a whole lot. They do. They miss you a lot here, Virgos, okay? Coming in with the nine of wands here, they're still... They're still guarded, Virgos. They're they're, they're trying to they're going to be protect you, you or them, Virgos. I think you guys are going to be protecting everything that it is that you have because you guys have been healing this whole entire time. So you're not going to allow anyone just to come in and then just steal one of those wands from you. You guys are going to be holding onto your wands and taking care of your wands because those are your wands, Virgos. That's what you had to do to build yourself back up again to become stable. To and this is why you guys are guarded because you guys are like, no, you're not going to come back here and and take away my wand after I had to do all this healing on my own at the end of the day though virgos you guys are going to be using your intuition at the same time okay you guys could have been dealing with an aquarius here virgos this person misses you a whole lot this person sees you as somebody who's very sexy virgos they're ready to come back towards you they want to communicate here with you this person might also display themselves as somebody who's very cold and detached my loves but they do have a lot of passion here for you they have a lot of passion here for you, Virgos. Ten of Cups. They want they want to be successful with you, Virgos. They want to be with you again. They want a reunion here with you. They want to. They even want to have a child here with you at the exact same time. Seven of Wands. But you guys are defensive, Virgos. Maybe some of you guys even block this person at the exact same time. You guys are defensive, Virgos, because this person caused you so much pain, so much heartache, so much deceptive energy. They they really did leave you for dead, and they just dip set, Virgos. They didn't really explain themselves to you on why it is that they're leaving they just kind of got up and ghosted you guys and they should never have ghosted an a pre-empress like that you don't you don't disrespect and and diss a pre-empress you <laughs> the fuck <laughs> what <laughs> what virgos who the fuck disrespected you guys let them know barbie will seven of one they asses all right cutie pies that's fucked up energy right there virgos i don't like that shit because how are they not going to know who you are and what you are? How are they not going to see your worth for exactly what it is? Why? Why can't they see your worth at that time when they had had you, right, Virgos? Regardless of Virgos, you guys can be dealing with another Virgo here. This person's afraid that you're going to end up rejecting them because of the fact that they caused you a lot of pain. And they how they betrayed you and backstabbed you here, Virgos. But this person is at a distance towards you, Virgo. Uh, 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 <laughs> this person is at a distance here for from you virgos okay they're really stressed out like they're really stressed out virgos at nighttime they have uh, it gets more heavier for them at nighttime than it does during the day because they're so scared that you're gonna end up rejecting them virgos especially when they come back towards you and they offer you their apology you guys are not going to really be you guys are going to be like like nonchalant you guys are not really going to show them all that much emotion you're not really going to show them that much uh energy i guess you can say maybe a one two text here and there and it's going to be kind of inconsistent virgos and they're, and they're worried that you're going to end up saying you know what <laughs> men don't want it <laughs> you're going to reject them that's what they're afraid of but they're oh they're stressed because they know that they put you in competition with the five of wands energy it was just like a tug and pull like one i i I like you, and then this one wants to run away. The fuck? All right, Virgos. Anyway, at the bottom, at their Queen of Cups, you guys are still, no matter how much pain people cause you, Virgos, it'll never change your heart. Your heart will never go black, Virgos. You guys are always going to stay with a clean heart. You guys are always going to be compassionate, loving, and caring. No matter how many people try and juke you up, Virgos, it doesn't matter. It's not going to change who you are as a person. You guys will always remain the same person. Yeah, pain's going to change you, but at the same time, Virgos, 
You guys are not going to let anyone to make you feel inadequate. This person had a lot of toxicity, Virgo. This person's obsessed with you. They have to come back rushing towards you now. They they want to come back for you, Virgos. They need to balance up the scales here with you coming in with a justice card, Libra energy. This person's going to want a relationship here with you, Virgos. They, they see that if they have a relationship with you, it'll be the happiest and the most beautiful relationship ever, Virgos. This person's definitely transforming themselves and asking God to help them out in this in this situation. They are coming back towards you, Virgos. See, they're ha they're asking God, Virgos. They're asking God if they can have a new beginning here with you. So they're going to be coming back towards you, Virgos. Uh oh, Virgos, what is this? There's a new lover, a new lover coming in, Virgos. All right, there's a new lover that's coming in, Virgos. They see you as an empress now. There's a, there's somebody else who sees you as an empress. This person. Because, Virgos, the way you guys talk to this person, even if you guys are talking to this new person already, this person sees you as someone who's really very playful, very cute, very loving, very fertile, very beautiful. And they love the way that you communicate. They love that how you are just so straight up and so direct with your communication. <laughs> you don't you don't really like, you're just really cute, Virgos, with the, with the way that you talk. And this person here is very much so attracted to that, sweeties. <laughs> This person wants to see you, Virgos. They want to have fun with you. They want to celebrate with you as well. They want to have everything with you, Virgos. This person is going to be communicating that with you at the same time, sweeties. <laughs> That's really cute. Ace of Swords energy. This person does love you a whole lot. Oh, that's the last card. And this person is also going to be spoiling you a whole lot, Virgos. You guys are going to have two people coming in. One from your past and one new person. And it's going to overlap each other, Virgos. At the last second, it will overlap each other. This person's going to be wanting to put in a lot of energy to have you. They're going to be spoiling you, wanting you, everything like that. This person looks at you. The, the way that this person looks at you, they look at you as like they they rub their eyes, Virgos, and it's like they're looking at a diamond. Literally like that. That's how this... That's how this Page of Wands is looking at you, where some people will look at you like that, Virgos, and then some some other people will look at you like, hmm, I'm gonna run off, run away, and leave this person heartbroken. There are always two different types of people in this world: one who will always appreciate you for exactly who you are when they see you and when they have you, and then another person who will be intimidated, egotistical, and run away from the connection, Virgos. It's going to be completely up to you, though, Virgos, okay, cutie pies? But there is a stalking-ass Pisces here, Virgos, who is trying to figure out how you do what it is that you do. <laughs> that person needs to stay in their lane, and they need to get checked real quick, because what you do is what you do, and nobody else can do what it is that you do at the end of the day. God didn't give them your, you know what I mean? <laughs> People need to start learning that what what's yours is yours, and what's theirs is theirs. And they need to start learning to embrace who they are as an individual and to stop being insecure. That person is incredibly fake, Virgos. I don't know who the fuck that energy belongs to, but it's saying that there's a Pisces here who's incredibly fake. They are insecure. They are having financial problems. They're trying to figure out how you do what it is that you do. I wouldn't even worry about them, Virgos. That person is irrelevant in every single type of way, shape, and form that you can possibly think of. Anybody who feels like they need to compare themselves to other people, there's an issue with them, but not with you because you guys are coming in as the pre-empress to the empress. You guys know exactly who you are. You guys know exactly what you're capable of. You guys know exactly what your worth is. People who are sit at that vibrational level as an empress to the pre-empress, you don't sit there worry about what other people are doing while other people are sitting there worrying about what it is that you do. Don't even flex, Virgos. Let people do what they do because eventually... Karma will come and kick their ass because some people need to be just not bothering other people for no reason. You see me? Regardless of Virgos, there is somebody that's going to be setting themselves at a higher vibration to come back and meet up with you again. They know that you, they have a soul connection here with you and a soul contract here with you as well. And it's not over as of yet, Virgos. It doesn't matter if you guys have been in separation for this whole entire time. At the end of the day, you guys have done your healing. You guys did exactly what you were supposed to do. While you guys were in separation, you took care of yourself, you guys you gave yourself self-love, and you're finally coming out of the self-healing now, Virgo, so congratulations on the healing process. You guys did really, really well. You had your power back, and you know exactly who it is that you are, and you're not going to allow anybody ever again to make you feel so inadequate. Thanks, cuties. Bye.